Um, I'm going to start with a game in Agano, just because I have this thing, and the one game I played it, I think I got dev struck in three minutes. So we're going to try this again while you guys get some requests in the queue and we derp around. Um, all right, Classic, thanks for dropping in, buddy. Uh, but the fun thing, the, probably one of the most enjoyable parts of, of going to Prague last weekend for the cast. And by the way, I'm curious to hear what you guys thought of the cast in general. Good, bad, indifferent, right? Um, was meeting Just Chegg, who was another one of the EU guys along with Seraphis. If you watch the EU streams, which over here usually play midday Thursdays, you've seen Chegg before. Turns out Chegg um, used to work for uh, Royal Caribbean. And I, my, my wife and I are, we're kind of, we're kind of Royal Caribbean fanboys. Um, we've been sailing with RCCL, cruising with RCCL for a number of years. And long story short, it turns out eight years ago, we were on a cruise while he was staffing the ship as a photographer. Which cracked, we, when we realized that, we were talking about this. And I was like, oh yeah, we did this cruise. And, all, and he was like, what ship? And I told him, and he goes, I was on that ship. And I was like, oh. So we had a we like had this instant connection and chatted about it for a while and it was a lot of fun. So so Chegg is good people. Yes, Agano is the tech tree, the tech tree, uh, the tech tree Japanese light cruiser now. I actually want to go look at the cruiser line to see if they continued the main line as the light cruisers and the heavy cruisers is now a branch, like they did for the Americans. I need to go check that out. If your guns are less floating than Yahagi's. We're gonna find out, Chaser, because the last time I played this ship, I like I said, I literally got basically dev struck in seconds. So I don't I never got to fire her guns. Or I don't remember firing her guns. Alright, all humans, big race, tier four, five battles. So this is the kind of environment where this ship ought to excel decently. Thank you, Nighthawk. I appreciate it. I'm glad I'm glad you guys enjoyed that. It was interesting, um, I was hanging out, well, I wasn't hanging out, but I was talking to, Thank still, I'm still a little overexposed, I'm turning that down just a hair. Um, who was I talking to? So I ducked into the, that EU chat on Thursday, and um, Chris Santos and Lord of Droid were doing the, hosting the stream, and they had asked for people's feedback on King of the Sea, good, bad, you know, whatever, and so Pazor and I are both in the chat. Watching the watching the feedback go by, some of the stuff that people were saying, we're, we're looking at each other. I looked at Painzor. I goes, "Hey, did you know Painzor? You don't speak English, and neither do I." They were like, "Get English casters," and I was like, "We don't. We don't apparently we don't speak English." That was news. Hmm. Are the Torp angles as bad as Yahagi's? Yes, they are. Actually, they're a little better to the stern. I think Yahagi's torpedo angles are kind of very focused amidship. I've got a little better stern torpedo angle. Oh, stupid. This guy's trying to torpedo me. I really don't appreciate it. This is gonna fuck up my hair. Uh, better. Okay, so apparently I don't want to be here. Awesome. There goes my rudder. And because my rudder is out, because my rudder is out, my guns can't catch up. So I'm reaching a point where I've decided that playing this line of ships is pain. It seems to be just pain. Just driving in circles. No big deal. Keep wondering if one of these one of these cruisers will act one of these destroyers will actually put some smoke down. I mean I'm gonna be dead in seconds. That's how bad this ship is. Your engine so your engine and your rudder are made of tissue paper. And apparently everybody playing now at Tier 5 hides behind islands? Uh, 
Yeah, I'll be dead here in a sec. Should be fun. All right, double fire. Outstanding. Let's get some torpedoes into this smoke and see who we can kill. Well, I'm going to get the Destroyer. I'm not going to get the Tiger, although I am going to beat the hell out of him with about three or four torpedoes here. Oh! <laughs> A double strike on 200 HP, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh my god. This ship is made of tissue paper. Holy cow. That's crazy. So it's not like the USN Tech Tree. I have to go check that out then. Okay. So, things I just learned. One, ships made of tissue paper. Two, torpedoes hit like trains. That's good. You're going to need that to make up for the ship The ship being made of tissue paper. Um, I'm actually very salty that I couldn't kill a Kuma. I didn't get the chance to shoot at the Kuma. Long-range punch torpedoes. So, yes, Chaser. These, at Tier 5, these are 12-kilometer torpedoes, I think? We'll check when we get back to port, but that sounds correct. This Koenig is about to get his face melted off, and he can't kill Akuma. He's not Akuma. You're dead. God, I love low-tier games. They're so silly. Our Akuma's about to get torpedoed. Look at this. He stopped in front of deep water torpedoes. That's amazing. 12 kilometers. Okay. These are the Type 93s? Okay. There you go. <laughs> I can't believe I got a double strike. That's hilarious. <laughs> Too funny. So, yeah, we had a, I had a really great time um, working in Prague, doing the cast. Um, we had originally started talking about getting everybody together... Prague, Austin, St. Petersburg, wherever, all, over two years ago, right? Um, you you guys probably don't remember. But for King of the Sea 9, which would have been uh, late 2019, um, I'm trying to remember who I worked the international with. I, did I work the international? No, I think I did. I didn't work the international. If I did, I did. I did. Um, I did analyst commentary because one, um, I d I did one of the one of the international brackets. Stats and I did analyst stuff, while I think Flamu and somebody else called the games, and then one one international stats and I did game calling, and I think that might have been this past spring or last fall, and while other people did um, the analyst desk. So formula, I hear you, and you know it was really it was really hilarious sitting in the the warships Twitch chat the other day, you know, during the EU stream, and listening to the quote unquote complaints commentary that people had. Um, one guy told me he didn't. Uh, let's see, what did he say? No offense, you're really good, but you were you stepped over pain, you stepped on pains or half the time. I wasn't the only one that noticed, and I was like, okay. And, and at the same time, I also I, I told him in chat, I said, you have to remember that we have literally never worked together. So it cannot surprise you that it doesn't go perfectly smooth right out of the gate. Like anytime you work with a new caster, somebody you've never worked with before, there is a there's a learning curve, right? There's an adaptation period where you are trying to figure each other out, whether that's stylistically or. Just how the other person works. You can talk about it beforehand, but there is no substitute for, um, you know, doing it live. To quote Bill Riley, Bill O'Reilly, like, do it live, um, and uh, and figuring it out that way. A little little Minikaze suicide run here. You can chaser. So this particular ship, Agano has, I believe, her detection is about nine and change, and she has twelve kilometers, twelve kilometer torps. Nighthawk! 
Thank you for the gifted subs. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. That's awesome. No, Formula, I hear you. And 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 I'll be honest, right? This is and and I don't I don't I I I I, I haven't said anything to Painzor because I don't I don't want anybody to get the wrong impression. I had a great time working with him, but it wasn't as smooth as it could have been. Why? We haven't worked together a lot. That's why. It's that simple. This is not a, hey, you suck at this thing. This is simply a matter of, you know, you don't know me. I don't know you. We haven't done a lot of this together. It takes time. You know, and you see that, um, you see that when you go back and you watch, um, and again, I, I keep coming back to radio broadcasts, right, for baseball or football, because that's really the best analogy to what we do. And anytime you change the chemistry of the two people working on one of those, on such a thing, there's an adaptation period. It's just the way it is, right? Um, and so I'd love to work with Painsworth again. I think we only get better. It's just like Zap. Like, if you go back and look, if you go back and listen to some of the original stuff that Zap and I did five years ago, almost five years ago now, it's a little cringe, right? There's some times you're just like, oh, God, eesh, these guys kind of suck, right? But here we are all these years later. We've got hundreds of games together, and we've got a nice rhythm going. It's like it's like anything else. It just takes time to build a rapport and develop a relationship with somebody. The Duke. The Duke, Duke with the resub. Thank you so much. Where's the hammer when you need one? So awesome. I think you're talking about they had the EU regional guys for the EU finals was Painzor and Deerock, I think, wasn't it? Wasn't it Painzor and Deerock? Poor Langley. No one outruns the Minikaze torpedoes. Well, the Kernigsberg's gonna kill the carrier, but he's gonna lose the game, so oh well. Womp womp womp. And formula that's that's a hundred percent right that's really what it is right once you've once you've developed that sense of knowledge of the person you're working with it's just it, it's just better there's no other way to put it because it just is so um and so that was one of the frustrations that i had you know listen to you listen to these guys in chat and they're like oh y'all were you, you know you talked over him y'all weren't as you know you sucked and i'm kind of going well Guys, give me a break, right? Like, we've never, we'd literally never worked together. You can't seriously expect us to be, like, you know, right right out of the gate. That's not going to happen. Fair enough, Chaser. Fair enough. But it was a lot easier to produce the cast having everybody in the same room. Um, so I'm a, I am was a huge fan of that. I really hope that they will continue to do... Um, to do cast this way going forward because I think the quality <laughs> how am I top XP <laughs> god bless tier 5 that's all I'm going to say there god bless tier 5 um but I think the quality of the casts will will just will stay high because it's much easier to coordinate everybody when you're all in the same place as opposed to, you know, I'm, you know, Painzor is two hours behind the guys in Prague and I'm seven hours behind the guys in Prague and we're remoting in and all of the other technical garbage and delays that are involved in all that mess. It can work, right? But it's just not it's not as clean. It's not as it's not as polished. The end the end product isn't as good. And one of the things that I found really encouraging was um, talking to who was I talking to? I can't remember now. I don't remember if it was Sarah, if it was Crescentos. Crescentos popped in briefly on Saturday and I got to like shake his hand and say hi, like during the day. Um, but we were talking about it briefly, and it was like, you know, apparently. The, the, the powers that be that make these decisions were very happy with what we had done. Um, and so that was encouraging to me that maybe when the time comes in the spring for us to do this again, that we'll all get back together once more. So that was good. The only other thing that I found...